This video demonstrates how to create variable text and picture links using Design Merge. Once you've created your variable links as shown in the previous video, you are now ready to start tagging variable objects in the Quark Express or InDesign document. The idea behind Design Merge is simple. Take a normal Quark Express or InDesign document and make it variable. There is no special export or conversion process required. You work directly within the Quark Express or InDesign environment and use the palette to tag variable elements in the document. Let's first look at how to create a variable text link in a document. To create a variable text link, you simply highlight the text that you want to make variable. Here I'm highlighting the first name field. Then you go up to the Design Merge palette and select the link from under the drop down menu, as I'm doing here. This palette is in what we call classic mode. If you want to see all of the links listed, click this little button here. And this will expose a longer list. This makes it a little easier to navigate through the links that you've defined. Once you've highlighted the text and selected the link, click the Assign button on the floating palette to establish the link in the document. You'll see a green underscore appear under the selected text. This indicator identifies the text range as being variable. Note that you continue to edit the text normally. The green underscore will track the range of text and move with it as you make changes. Now I'll repeat the process and set up the last name link in the same fashion. For pictures, the process is identical. You start by selecting a picture frame, as I'm doing here on the left side of the document. Next, I choose the variable link called Main Graphic from under the Design Bridge palette. And now I'll click the Tag Pick button. Now if I show frame edges here, you'll see a little green box that identifies this frame as being variable. The main graphic in this case points to a database field that contains the name of a variable picture to import. Now that we have two text links and a picture link, let's go ahead and merge data into the layout. To start a merge session, choose Merge from under the Design Merge menu, or you can optionally click the Merge button on the Design Merge palette. Here is the main Design Merge dialog. It's broken up into two sections. In the top section, you specify the range of records that you wish to process. In this case, we will leave this set to All Records. In the next section, you tell designers what you would like to do with the merge results. Here there are several options for print, file, and testing. In this case, we are going to perform a data preview operation, so I'll just select that from under the drop-down menu. Click the Start Merge button, and you're prompted to select a database file. This only happens the first time you do a merge. Let's show the Data Preview dialog. As you can see, Data Preview allows you to scroll through your database one record at a time and examine the data that's coming in. If I turn on the Auto Preview feature, what we'll see is that as we scroll through the database, the text and pictures get merged into the document. Notice as I step through the records, we have pictures flowing in, and we're also having the first and last name flow in. Let me minimize this to make it a little easier to see. The name links retain the font and styling information that was assigned to the text in the link, and the picture data is centered and sized to fit within the frame. That's all there is to creating text and picture links in InDesign. In the next video, you'll see how to modify the styling and color of the text and other objects using Design Merge rules.